nosebleed tickets, but we got them. But I, I wish Amy Schumer, I, I don't know who's opening for her. That'd then. be cool, though. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice yeah. to see Madonna still yeah. touring, too. Oh, and she yeah. looks good. Yeah, yeah she does. Mm -hmm. Keeps herself in shape on that running. <laughs> uh, kind of nice outside today. It was a little chillier out there. Yeah, you know, a little day for, uh, escape from the heat is not too bad. We had more clouds than we did sunshine. And uh, temperatures, though, pretty close to where we should be for this time of year about now. We're sitting at 70 degrees, really, with a mix of sun and clouds right now. We saw a few sprinkles earlier today. Out towards the gorge here at Scabania Lodge, mainly sunny right now. Temperatures at 71 in wine country. Seeing a little bit more blue there, there at Stoller Family Estate. And out towards the coast, Lincoln City, it's been a little dreary out there with some clouds, even a little drizzle. And we saw some uh, rain up towards Astoria picking up just about two tenths of an inch. Temperatures right now in the valley in the lower 70s. Right now, Kelso, you're sitting at 64 degrees, 57 for you in Cannon Beach. Dry through the gorge right now, the Dow's at 75. Metro temperatures, lower 70s out on our west side, but, uh, and uh, Forest Grove at 68 degrees. Once we get to the east, we're right now sitting at uh, 68 in Camas and 71 downtown being one of the warmer spots right now, 69 in Milwaukee. So we had a front that basically just really shredded apart as it made its way in, and you can see uh, the remnants of it right now. The clouds are going to decrease as the evening goes on, and there may be a stray sprinkle as well. Now, looking at the latest radar, not seeing much on there, but as we close in, we do have a few isolated sprinkles up towards the Longview area, a little bit uh, further south along Highway 30 and uh, between there and Battleground. Now, these are mainly going to stay over the higher terrain. I don't really expect them to make it into the metro area, but again, if you're driving and see a few sprinkles out there, that should only last for the next couple of hours. So as we look at your hour by hour forecast, notice how we get to about uh, 530 here. Here's 74 degrees. I think we'll see some sunshine as well. Maybe a few isolated sprinkles again over the coast range and also the Cascades. Getting into tomorrow morning, right about 8 o'clock, temperatures will be right around 57 and will stay mostly sunny for our Saturday. Even a little bit warmer temperatures getting into uh, right to about 80, 81 degrees for the high tomorrow. Here's the 830 going out for your Saturday night. It'll be dry. Some high clouds to start on Father's Day. Here's 730 in the morning, right around 60, but I think it's going to be a nice day for that if you have outdoor plans. High should make it to around 85 and we're going to end up mostly sunny and the winds are going to be fairly light too from the northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. So the coast today, you're going to stay mainly cloudy, 65 for you in Tillamook. Further south, we'll see more sunshine sailing to around 77 degrees. Kelso, more clouds, 73, maybe a few sprinkles your way. Out east today, mostly sunny and mild with temperatures in the 70s, and that's going to be the way also through the gorge with right around 77 for you. Cascade Locks, Hood River, and the Dows in 63 for Government Camp. The metro forecast, going to make it to the mid-70s out in our western areas as well as out east. Going to stay mainly dry, maybe a spotty sprinkle or so the further north you get. Vancouver, you'll end up right around 75. So the valley forecast for the week and Father's Day again, mid 80s for the coastal forecast. Going to keep it to the 60s under partly sunny skies for your Sunday and the gorge will stay into the 80s, but mostly sunny and so that way for the mountains right around 73 for Father's Day. So if you're heading for that hike, looking pretty good. So here's that forecast through the weekend. We warm up for Sunday, the first day of summer. We cool down slightly there on Monday, but then the heat is right back coming in on Thursday and Friday of next week. It looks like temperatures between about 87 and 90 degrees. Yeah, so a heat wave coming. Yeah, the heat will be back, and of course, you can track all the latest information there on the PDX Weather app. It's easy to use. You get that live radar, and you'll see the custom forecast just nice. for you. All right, thanks, Riley. Yeah. Well, you're watching Coin.